Hey guys, uh, it has been a little while. Uh, today is the 31st of July, Friday the 31st of July. Um, by the time you see this, it probably will have been at least three weeks, maybe four weeks since a video has gone up. I'm not exactly sure when this one will go up. Um, I'm hoping maybe it will be like early next week and then I'll do another one that is actually already ready to go. Um, on that Friday, so we might have a week with two, but if not, you might not be seeing this until a week from today and that will be totally fine too. So um, yeah, what has been going on? Well, uh, you have just seen <laughs> the, the first kind of big thing is that I am moving back into my studio. Um, I've been at home, working at home for 18 weeks and uh, yeah, things with the pandemic are Obviously, I mean, you could be watching this. This could even be go going up tomorrow and what I'm about to say would still be kind of outdated. But um, yeah, things have been relatively stable, but they certainly are starting to climb back up. Um, the case numbers are starting to climb back up in Pennsylvania. Um, but the several trips that I have taken to and from the studio to get stuff during lockdown, I never ran into anybody here. Uh, even folks out in the street, like I, I would be passing from much further than six feet away. It's not a super crowded area. Um, so I felt like if I wear my mask into the studio, like even through the hallway, cause this is a private space, nobody else ever comes in here. Um, that seemed, um, relatively safe. And in all honesty, I, uh, am getting, it's getting really hard to work from the chair in the bedroom. Um, even with the babysitter, it's just so hard for my, for a number of reasons. Physically, my, my back is hurting from working in an armchair for so long. And, uh, and then just practically it's gotten harder and harder with, 
um, with the girls because they both know that I'm there and they both want me to be around them. And I think it's actually even like emotionally harder for them knowing that I'm upstairs, but that I'm, you know, not, um, yeah, that I'm not playing with them, that I'm not just spending time with them. And in our house, it's even the current house, our new house that we bought is even trickier because it's actually a very old house. So the, none of the doors really close and they all have these huge gaps underneath. So there's like no privacy to be had there anyway, which is totally fine most of the time. But um, yeah, so there were several reasons that I decided to go ahead and come back. Uh, hopefully there won't be another stay at home order that would apply to me. Um, if there is, I will abide by it. But um, for now, since there's not a stay at home order and I can do it safely, I am back in the studio. Um, yes, and then other stuff. Why have I been gone for so long? I, there's no particular reason. I didn't like plan. Well, actually, probably there there is definitely a particular reason, but probably the the main challenge here is that I didn't plan to take a break. My family has been visiting. Um, first, my brother came, and then my parents came, and um, I had been hoping to get some content made beforehand. And then I was thinking maybe I would do a little bit of content while they were here, but I just was wanting to spend time with my parents and my brother and the kids. And um, yeah, I just wanted to have some family time and not be at all paying attention to my phone or social media or anything. So yeah, I just kind of unplugged. And after a few days, I thought I should probably tell everybody so that everyone knows I didn't like, you know, fall off a cliff or something. But uh, yeah, I, I took a break. So um, that's what's been going on. And uh with other work, um, I mean, you saw that big stack of stuff that I had just been kind of plugging my way through, sorting as I, um, as I've been getting moved back in here. And I have a huge pile, like that wasn't even everything that I made during quarantine or during work from home. Um, it has been a really productive time in terms of like number of paintings. Uh, and I just had started um, a new packaging project like right before my parents arrived and I had to wrap that up a little bit while they were still here, which was more reason why I wanted to not do anything, um, you know, with YouTube or Instagram was just because I already was having to spend a little bit of time on painting. So, um, um, um yes. Today, I'm not going to be doing any more. Uh, I'm not, not going to be working on any client projects. I actually have this day just kind of set aside to, um, yeah, to get settled back in. And you saw my little to-do list here. Um, I need to do some planning for next week and um, really kind of the month ahead. And then um, I'm also going to take a trip to the post office. Um, I have um, a package. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it up or not right now. I might save it for a video that I do next week, um, but I have to pick up another package. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I think that's where I talked about it the most, or maybe I did it on Twitter, but either one of those places, I mentioned that I was organizing an art swap, um, which was really fun, but way harder than I thought. And I think if I do it again, I'm going to ask somebody well, some, a couple of you actually already offered for help with like making the assignments. And I was like, no, it'll be no problem. But it was way harder than I thought to come up with a system for it. So uh, I have to send out, I'm like very late in sending out the things that I need to send. So that's what I have to do today at the post office. And then I, I may or may not, depending on how I feel and whether I get my, my act together, I may or may not send a couple of client thank you cards or packages as well. Um, and then pick up another package that was sent um, to the studio for me. So um, yeah, that's kind of the plan for uh, today. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, I'm like super rusty and out of practice with vlogging, but I'm trying to think, I think there was something else I wanted to talk with you guys about. Um, oh, uh, yes, <laughs> I think, um, well, do I want to talk about it? I guess I do want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm going to talk about it on Patreon. So patrons, you will probably hear this twice, but, um, I don't have anything super concrete yet, but I, I am kind of thinking through, um, the process of potentially maybe hiring someone for a very part-time, um, kind of, I don't even know what to call it. Like it wouldn't really be a studio assistant because they wouldn't be in the studio, but it would be like helping with social media and with, uh, client communication. Um, 
it would be awesome if they could come to the studio and help organize my piles and piles of artwork <laughs> that needs to be put into portfolios, but that's not going to happen for a while. Um, yeah, so I have been, well, I mean, you guys know Meg edits the videos and she is um, amazing. And that has just been such a, a gift over the past couple of years to have her doing that. And uh, I've been thinking about ways uh, just noticing and you guys notice too i know because you put you write it in the comments but noticing that over the past couple of years um especially this last year i have just been chronically overwhelmed and always feeling behind and stressed and uh yeah and, and i don't want that to continue i don't think that's a really healthy way to live and i certainly don't want to live that way um so I've been thinking of whether there were certain things that I could hand off to someone else or maybe a couple of someone else's uh, similar to how I've handed off the video editing to Meg. And um, yeah, I'm just in the very early phases of that. Um, but if any of you have ever hired somebody, I hired a studio assistant or a virtual assistant, something like that, um, I would love to hear your experience with it. So let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I would certainly be new to that. And I'm even trying to think of just like what other things would be practical or worthwhile to have someone else do because there are certain things like actually making the art that I have to do um, but then there are a lot of other things that um, that I don't necessarily have to do like even writing the putting together like the client update emails that's a good example like that's something I'm supposed to do and even in my videos to you guys like when I give advice about this I recommend people do it like four times a year and that's kind of the common um, wisdom or what most people recommend is around four times a year. But yes, I never end up getting that done. I, I was looking back because I have a document that where I track like my correspondence with different clients. So because it come it be, it can become after a number of years just too much to keep in your head. And I was noticing a pattern that um, the first couple of years I would do it like maybe twice a year, and then the last probably three years yeah, three years, it's been like once a year at best. And then there are some clients that don't get any communication. And that's because I send all, all of my client communication is personalized. So if I'm doing an update, I don't just do a mass update. I do individual personal updates. And, you know, even if you're only doing that for like 50 clients, it, it that's a, a lot of time. So that's something somebody else could help with. And then maybe even like transitioning some of it more to like a general list or newsletter. That's something someone else could help with. Um, the newsletter that I put together and send out for you guys. I have like kind of content pieces, content blocks, but I mean, really the only thing that's written by me is the little intro. And then there's the, you know, the new work section, the latest videos, the Skillshare section, and then like I'll feature a patron or um, sometimes someone from Instagram and Instagram follower, um, which by the way, you can subscribe to my newsletter below if you want to. <laughs> I hardly ever send it out, but I am looking to change that. Uh, I would love to send that out like once a month instead of, you know, once every eight months, <laughs> which is about what I do right now. So yeah, I think that's one way that it would at least like make some mental space because even though I'm not really good at doing all of those things, um, as evidenced by what I just told you guys, I, I am constantly feeling stressed and um, bad about myself for the fact that I don't do them. And uh, yeah, I'd like to be able to stay more on top of it. And I think I just need to have some help to do that. And then the other thing that I have been thinking about um, related to this chronic um chronic state of overwhelm is that I probably need to maybe like raise my rates so that I am taking on fewer projects. And that freaks me out because I love to do projects, but like, yeah, just anytime I end up, anytime I contemplate raising my rates, especially raising my rates with existing clients, that is still hard for me. And, um, I get pretty comfortable like over a period of time with what I'm quoting and I know that it's reasonable and fair and, um, and I will be able to kind of like mentally go through several, uh, jobs that I've done that have been at that rate. So I know that there are clients that are fine with paying that rate. Uh, so when I think about trying to raise it at all, that just, yeah, that just makes me anxious and I don't really have anything particular or any concrete plan about that yet. But I, I think for a while I had 
my conclusion had been that, well, if only I didn't have to like spend all the time planning out social media. Um, cause that's the thing I don't like. I don't like the, like looking through the pictures and coming up with a caption and doing all of that. That is hard <laughs> and takes a lot of time for me. Um, what I do like is interacting with you guys on there. That's my, probably my favorite part of social media. Um, but, uh, yeah, I thought if I could hand off that, the part that I don't like, if I could hand off client emails and, um, what was the other thing I said? I mean, I guess those are main, the main big things, sort of like the, the social media planning and then, um, that was my chair and then client emails. I thought that if I could hand that off or if someone else could do it or whatever, that I would just magically then feel like I had so much time, but I have been noticing over the last I've, I've been really intentionally paying attention over the past eight weeks and um, most of my time is going to is going to client projects and I'm like a, a large part of it and uh, if I don't end up having time then those other things get bumped so I think if I want to feel like I have more room in the calendar and more space for things like um, I don't know, like kind of high level planning things or thinking strategically about the future and certainly having a lot of like more spacious chunks of time for personal projects, which I would love to have. I think I'm going to have to take on fewer client projects. And the best way to do that would be to raise my rates because then um, I'm in an ideal situation, then I would work less, but make maybe the same. And you know, it's that, that old, adage is not the right word, but, uh, example, that old example of like, well, would you rather have, you know, 10 clients that pay you $10 or one client that pays you a hundred dollars and you have, you know, one out of 10 times, one out of 10 chances to get that client. So, um, I certainly would rather have the latter because you're not working, <laughs> you're not working as much, you're working much more efficiently. So, um, yeah, that was just like a mind dump. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it made sense. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with it. Um, so for right now, I am going to break out my computer and do a little bit of planning and then, um, uh, maybe even like, well, it'd be awesome to clean off my desktop. I have like 40 gigs right now on my hard drive. My hard drive is so full. Um, so I'll have to do that at some point too. Yes. I'm going to do some planning for next week for the month and um, also some planning for YouTube content that's coming down the pipeline. So, um, and, and by the way, if you are new here um, and you have somehow managed to get through what was, what is it like 15 minutes of me just talking, <laughs> um, then I always love to hear your ideas for new videos, things that you'd like me to talk about, uh, topics that you'd like me to address, um, questions you have, all of that. So I'm gonna do some of that planning and um, then I think I will circle back to you guys when I'm ready to pack up the packages and head to the post office. Somehow it is already three o'clock. Um, I don't feel like I've gotten that much done, but at the same time, I've gotten uh, a number, a few, a few important things that have been on my to-do list for a long time. Um, I've gotten those mostly taken care of. I've got my couple of pieces packed up for the art swap. Um, you saw one of the ones that I just opened just now. That was uh, by Eric Mendoza. Um, and I'll put uh, their contact info in the description box, their uh, username, Instagram username. Um, but yes, I absolutely love that piece. It's bigger than I thought, which is really cool. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to frame that. Actually, I have a shadow box at home. Um, it may be a bit big for that, but I'm gonna bring it and see, because um, I definitely wanna have it 
hung up in some way, not just leaning up against the wall. And I can't put any tape on it, which is how I often do things uh, because there's no margin. So I'll have to figure that out. But um, I think I'm just gonna do the art swap pieces. I'm not gonna bring any client work or any client thank yous um, to the post office right now. I need to like make myself a permanent reminder that <laughs> shipping things always takes so much longer um, well, so much longer than I think. And then it also takes much longer if you are out of practice, which I am because I don't ship things on a regular basis. I probably don't ship more than like, you know, once a month or maybe once every six weeks. Yeah, probably once every six weeks. So, uh, yes, it always takes a lot longer than I expect. And then today I was out of certain supplies. I don't like keep as good of track of that as I should, because again, if not doing it super regularly, uh, yes. So right now I was hoping to take you guys with me to, um, my favorite local coffee shop, um, which is about, uh, well, it's less than a 10 minute walk. It's just a couple of blocks away. Uh, but it is suddenly for the first time all day. I mean, it's been cloudy all day, but now it's raining. <laughs> so, um, I, and I brought no umbrella. I thought of it, but I'm just going to make a mad dash for my car and um, try to um, get loaded up and get to the post office and maybe, yeah, maybe I'll drive and get coffee somewhere because I definitely need some coffee. Um, yeah, so off to the post office. Wow, you guys, that was pretty nuts. <laughs> the, that was maybe one of the longest lines I've ever seen at the post office. Um, yeah, things are just wild there right now. Um, but I dropped off my packages. I dropped off the, the two art swap packages, and then I also had two other packages that were just for friends. Um, one's in hand-me-down clothes that I'm sending to a friend back in Boston. Um, baby clothes, hand-me-down baby clothes. Um, I, uh, this is a side note, but I never would have guessed before having children how much time I spend trying to get stains out of clothing. Um, because I, and I know you could just say, well, whatever, it's not a big deal, they're just kids. But I, I try really hard to take good enough care of them that they can be worn by somebody else afterwards because, yeah, I just, I care about that sort of thing. Um, so yes, a whole box full of um, baby clothes that have had all of the stains painstakingly removed and then just another one that's um, a gift for a, a friend's daughter. So um, did all of that, that was good. And I picked up um, my other thing from the art swap, uh, which is this piece right here. I'm gonna see if I can set the camera up in a way that you guys can see it when I open it. Oh golly. Trying to figure out a way to do this that actually makes sense, but this may just be a little bit awkward. So this person uh, is a medical illustrator. Her name is Anna Sieben. Um, I think that's how she says it, but yeah. There's her info. And that's a, a digital illustration of the human skull. And then she sent along, which is really cool. I, I would love to do more medical illustration, but I need to do a lot more uh, education around science first before I could do like legit medical illustration. So she sent, this is the print that I picked from the art swap and then she sent some other goodies too. So I'm gonna unwrap these. I just wanted to show you how cute the wrapping is. All right, so here is the print. This is the piece I picked in the art swap. It's this super detailed, really cool bumblebee. I know for sure it's watercolor. I think it might actually be mixed media. Um, five by seven, yeah. So I'm taking this piece home. Um, and in case you're wondering how I choose which pieces stay at my studio and which pieces go home, the, um, I have a more adventurous taste in art than Eric does. So, uh, the pieces that are maybe a little more traditional, um, and would have a wider appeal tend to go home. Um, and the pieces that are a little, um, more, what's the right word? I want to say unique, but then that makes it sound like um, traditional stuff isn't unique, and I don't mean it that way, but like the quirkier pieces, I guess, um, tend to stay at my studio with me because that's what I um, absolutely love. And I would have both if it was just my house, but um, it's Eric's house too. So we tend to uh, have more traditional stuff at home. And then um, she sent, Anna sent these postcards as well, and she paired them. They're really brightly colored and she paired them with um, envelopes, which was so nice. I will totally use these, Anna, thank you. These are beautiful. And then some stickers that match. 
I can't wait to write some letters. Oh, oh.